Hello everyone, welcome to Warner's Tree Surgery, where we offer expert tree disease diagnosis and treatment. My name is Pat and along with my husband Warner we have been treating sick trees for over 50 years. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about Queen Palms, which are beautiful and elegant tropical palms native to Brazil. They are popular and widely used in southwest landscapes, especially in patio settings and around swimming pools. However, they also have some special needs and challenges that you need to be aware of if you want to keep them healthy and thriving. I will explain some of the common problems and solutions for queen palms. Queen palms are one of our favorite palms, but they also require some extra care and attention. One of the main issues that affect queen palms is manganese deficiency. Manganese is a micronutrient that is essential for the growth and development of palms. It helps them produce chlorophyll, which is the green pigment that allows them to photosynthesize and make their own food. Without enough manganese, queen palms will suffer from a condition called frizzle top, which is characterized by yellowing, browning, and wilting of the leaflets on one side of the leaf, while the other side may remain green. The leaflets may also appear frayed, curled, or distorted. Eventually, the entire leaf dies, and the disease progresses to the younger leaves, until the palm is killed. Frizzle top is very common in queen palms, especially in Arizona, where the soil is alkaline and low in organic matter. Alkaline soil prevents the palms from absorbing the manganese that is present in the soil. Manganese deficiency can also be caused by using regular palm tree fertilizer, which does not contain enough manganese for queen palms. Queen palms need a lot more manganese than most palms, and they need it in a soluble form that they can easily take up. Another factor that can contribute to manganese deficiency is the origin of the palms. If the palms were grown in California and shipped here, they may not have enough manganese in the pot to last very long. However, if they were grown here and the nurseries knew what they were doing, they may have added enough manganese in the boxes that contain the queen palms to last about 10 or 15 years. But when the palms run out of manganese, they become vulnerable to frizzle top and other diseases. The best way is to use a manganese-rich fertilizer that is specially formulated for palms and other tropical plants. We recommend using the Lutz manganese spikes, which contain 20 manganese sulfate, 16 sulfur, and 4 nitrogen. These spikes are easy to use and effective. They release the manganese slowly and safely to the feeder roots of the palms, right where they need it most. The sulfur in the spikes also helps lower the pH of the soil, making it more acidic and favorable for manganese uptake. The nitrogen in the spikes also helps the palms absorb the manganese and produce more chlorophyll. To use the Lutz manganese spikes, you need to follow the instructions on the label. Depending on the size of the trunk and the severity of the deficiency, you need to use 2 to 10 spikes per palm. You need to drive the spikes into the ground around the palm, about 2 to 3 feet away from the trunk, and about 3 inches deep. If there is no water going to the trees that you need to put the spikes where the water is. You need to do this every 3 to 4 months or as needed, until the symptoms disappear. You should see some improvement in the new growth within one to three months. However, the old leaves that are already damaged will not recover, and you may need to prune them off. But be careful not to over prune the palms, as this can weaken them and make them more susceptible to other diseases. Only remove the dead or dying leaves, and leave as many green leaves as you can. Another disease that can affect queen palms is fusarium wilt, which is caused by a fungus that infects the water-conducting tissue of the palms. This disease causes the leaves to wilt and die, starting from the lower ones and moving up to the younger ones. The leaves may also show reddish-brown or dark-brown streaks on the petiole and rachis. The disease can kill the palm within two to three months after the symptoms appear. There is no cure for this disease, and the only way to prevent it is to avoid planting queen palms in areas where the disease has been found, and to disinfect the pruning tools before and after using them on different palms. Fusarium wilt can also affect Mexican fan palms, but not other types of palms. One of the possible ways to protect queen palms from fusarium wilt is to use on their product from the Lutz Corporation, which is the Ultra Spike. This spike contains boron, which is another micronutrient that is important for the health of palms. Boron helps the palms form strong cell walls and resist fungal infections. It also helps the palms produce flowers and fruits. Boron deficiency can cause a condition called toppling, which is when the top of the palm tilts or bends over. This can make the palm more prone to breaking or falling. To use the Ultra Spike, you need to follow the same procedure as the Manganese Spike, but you need to apply it 6 months after the Manganese Spike. This way, you can alternate between the two spikes and provide your palms with both Manganese and Boron. In addition to using the Lutz spikes, 
You also need to provide your queen palms with adequate water and proper trimming. Queen palms are tropical palms, and they need a lot of water, especially in the hot and dry climate of Arizona. You need to water your palms deeply and thoroughly, at least once or twice a week, depending on the weather and the soil conditions. You need to make sure the water reaches the root zone of the palms, which can be 2 to 3 feet deep. You also need to avoid overwatering or underwatering your palms, as this can stress them and make them more vulnerable to diseases. You can use a moisture meter or a soil probe to check the soil moisture level before watering. When it comes to trimming your queen palms, you need to be careful not to damage the trunk or the butt of the palm, which is where the new leaves emerge. You need to use sharp and clean tools, and cut the leaves close to the trunk, but not too close. You need to avoid tearing or ripping the leaves, as this can create wounds that can be infected by fungi or bacteria. You also need to avoid removing too many leaves, as this can reduce the photosynthesis and the energy of the palms. You only need to remove the leaves that are completely brown or dead, and leave the ones that are green or partially green. A full canopy of leaves can help the palms cope with the heat and the sun. By following these tips and using the LUT spikes, you can prevent and treat some of the common problems that affect queen palms in Arizona. You can also enjoy the beauty and elegance of these palms for many years. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we will try to answer them. If you need professional help with your queen palms or any other trees, please contact us at Warner's Tree Surgery. We have the experience and the knowledge to diagnose and treat any tree disease. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We appreciate your support and your business. See you next time.